morning friends welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new my name is heather i'm a homeschooling mom of three kids elementary and high school age today is going to be a vlog day it is monday april 15th and it is ec insider launch day for their life planner collection i just placed my order <laughs> The website is not fully updated yet, so it was a struggle to get things ordered. I had to do a couple of workarounds, but that is okay. I am exhausted. We just got back from Florida. We've been on vacation for the past couple of weeks, and it was absolutely amazing. Much needed, but I have so much stuff. I've got like tons of blankets and things to wash. So many things to do. And... <laughs> I need to do all of those things today. I thought we would get back to homeschool this morning. I don't know what I was thinking when I originally said that I would do that, but it's not happening. We may take the full week off uh, from homeschool. We're just about done for the year. We just have a few last minute things to do, um, but <laughs> today the priority is getting the house put in order, getting everything unpacked. I'm so thankful my mom actually was house sitting for us and did a ton of spring cleaning, washed our windows and windowsills and walls and banisters and baseboards and all of that stuff. So the house is very clean, which is nice, but I've got so many things to put away. We actually left in the middle of a nor'easter. So we had to bring all of our winter gear with us as well as our summer stuff. <laughs> So anyways, I did about three loads, three or four loads of laundry yesterday. I have a couple more loads to do today, and then I probably will not do blankets and stuff until tomorrow. Blankets that we brought with us <laughs> because, you know, snow. Anyways, uh, so it is about 7.30 right now. I did place my Erin Condren order. I do have a video going over everything that I was going to purchase as well as a video walkthrough of the new Life Planner collection. I will leave those linked in the description box. If you purchase something, I would love to hear what it is. I'm so excited about launch. The other thing that I'm hoping to do today is go on the Simplified website and look at some of their notebooks because I tend to purchase their notebooks when they have their spring, when they release their spring collection or their new academic collection because I do like those notebooks. Yes, so. <laughs> I need to sit down now and write out my plan for the day and then have another cup of coffee because I've only had one cup. And then we'll see where the day takes us. Okay, so I have my plan done for the day. I've taken a shower, I'm ready for the day. I'm going to go grocery shopping in just a few minutes. I have a lot of stuff that I want to get done today. I don't know how realistic it is for me to get all of the things done. I need to sit down and work on my budget and bills. I have laundry going right now. I have to get to the grocery store and the bank. So there's a lot of things <laughs> to try to get done today. And so I just kind of need to get to it, but I'm still exhausted because we drove to Florida and we drove straight home. Well, we did stop one night to sleep for a few hours and then drove back to our house. So it was a long couple of days of travel. And so we'll see how much energy I have this afternoon. I think I'm going to go and get a cold brew from Duncan and then go to the bank, get the groceries and figure out some food prep for the week. I think I want to either bake or grill some chicken, probably bake because I don't think I'm going to go outside and use the grill right now. And, you know, prep veg and fruit and stuff for the kids for the week, or at least for a couple of days before it disappears. <laughs> so far, it's been a good morning. I have the energy at the moment, so my goal is to just get as much done as I can while I have energy and take you along with me. When I got home, my mom had cleaned everything up. Everything was nice and neat. And yes, I accidentally pulled the door off of, <laughs> I don't know how strong I am, but uh, yeah, pulled the door off of the cabinet. Need to fix that. Uh, now there's just tons of stuff everywhere and it needs to be cleaned up. So after I get groceries, I'm going to come home and do this. So we have the wood stove going because it's in the 30s in the morning here still. 
It is going to be 60 today, which I'm so thankful for. I'm so thankful that the first few days back from Florida are going to be warmish for us because I was just basking in the sun down in Florida. It has been a miserable probably year to year and a half in Maine. The weather last summer was rainy. It rained all fall. We had a few hot days, but it was mostly rain all the time and um, pretty miserable. So having all of that warmth and sun in Florida was really, really helpful. Now I have to get Lucy and get in the car so we can go. We got the groceries. Dog's home waiting for us. Trying to get in the house. It's 10.30. I just got everything unpacked from the grocery store. Emma and Lucy are making some food. Jack just had some food. We eat at very odd hours. <laughs> they had cereal, some leftover Cheerios that we had from our trip for like breakfast. And now Emma is making eggs and toast. Lucy is making pasta. It's already cooked pasta. She's just reheating it. Jack had a peanut butter and jelly wrap. Um, I'm gonna make myself a salad pretty soon, but first I need to check in on my list and get another load of laundry into the wash. So I am using today this Bold Blooms gel pen from Erin Condren. It is a pricey pen, but it is refillable. I don't know the size to refill it, but it writes so nice. I really, really like it a lot. So that's what I'm using today for my planning. So I have done my EC order. I did the groceries. I'm working on laundry. I did one, I did go to the bank. Yes, I think that's about all that I have done so far. Yes. <laughs> so the next step is for me to get more laundry in, gotta wash all the beach towels, and then start to tidy up the kitchen so that I can make myself some food. And then after I eat, I will feel better about tackling this mess, which it's actually not too messy. These are just my real simple magazines that I want to go through, some blankets I need to wash from our trip. And then I have a bunch of books on the table that I had purchased from Sunlight um, in March and just have not done anything with them. I can't really put the new homeschool stuff away until I have everything, which is why I have this big table out here because I have to clear off the shelves from all the other books that we've used this year. I do need to go through that today and just make sure that we've covered everything. Before we left for vacation, I think I had gone through and looked and the kids have done all of their books. So that's good. We just have some like odds and ends to finish up. So I need to make a list just so that I know and so that they know what they have left to do. So that's what I'm going to do now. Laundry, tidy up the kitchen, food. Have I cleaned the kitchen yet? No. No, I have not, but I have sat on the computer answering emails and questions and talking to people about what they're ordering for Life Planner launch, which is obviously a ton of fun for me, um, but it's not helping me get my house back in order. So now I gotta, I have to clean the kitchen up, get the dishes in the dishwasher. I did put in another load of laundry, so that's good and uh, make myself some food because I am starving. Everybody else has eaten, but I have not yet. So that is, that needs to be the priority and I need to shut my computer off. Maybe just listen to an audiobook. Yes. <laughs> Gosh, I've lost some steam. I guess I didn't really have it at all in the morning anyways. It is 12.30, I've eaten. I've cleaned up the kitchen some. Now I need to start with the unpacking, change over the laundry. Things are going well. I am getting stuff done, Slow, slowly but surely getting things done. But right now, I just keep sitting down to check in with comments and stuff, which is funny because um, in February, I did my whole routines workshop in my membership community. And uh, my focus was on a communications routine for my work business related content. But I realized that during specific launches, like um, the Power Sheets Goal Planner or Erin Condren Life Planners or the Teacher Planners that will be coming out soon from Erin Condren, my communication routine goes right out the window and I don't have any, <laughs> I don't have any boundaries with regards to checking email or comments or whatever. So 
that's okay though. I am feeling good about how things are going, but I do want to start getting some stuff unpacked. Our entryway is a disaster. We have a ton of trash because we have to, we take our trash to a transfer station and we left halfway through a week. So we had that trash. Then we haven't been home when the transfer station has been open for three weeks now. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do with all of the trash. <sighs> yeah, that's where we're at. Okay, so the entryway is clean, which is good. The problem that I'm having right now is that we used to have a bureau over here. I'm sure that it has been in other videos and that held all of like the rain gear or the winter gear that we used for whichever season we we're in. However, now that that bureau broke. It had been Jack's old bureau from our old house and we were going to get a new one. So I need to get a bureau to go right here. That's the door that I pulled off of the cabinet. <laughs> um, so I need to purchase some sort of a bureau for the entryway so that we have a place to store all of the things like rain jackets and ponchos and gloves and you know all of that stuff but I don't have it right now. So everything is just kind of shoved into the closet, our entry closet right here, and in like bags because I don't have bins to put things in. So it's kind of annoying, but I don't know where to purchase a bureau. I don't really want to put one together. I hate assembling furniture. I feel like if I'm going to spend money on it, I'd at least like it to come put together. That's a personal preference now that I'm in my 40s. It, oh, it wasn't always that way. Uh, so now I'm going to try and tidy up the kitchen. I at least got the luggage and stuff that was still in here. Out of here, I got the food put away. So we brought a bunch of snacks and water and things. So I'm going to clean off uh, the table in the kitchen now and try and get all of that stuff transferred to the kids' rooms. Yes. Okay, so. Things are going well. It is 1.30 and I am supposed to be in my homeschool planning slash passion projects section of the day, but because I wasted so much time earlier, I am still tidying. But the kitchen is almost done. I just have to put away some snacks. Like we have a bunch of granola bars and protein bars and stuff that we had on the trip. I just need to find a place to put them. I still need to vacuum and my office, hmm. I don't know if it's really tidy. I did check it off because I picked up all of the trash, which was my main issue. I still want to go through my Real Simple magazines, which was going to be part of my homeschool planning, passion project, block of time. But I don't know what to do with all of my homeschool books. This is just all homeschool books. Easter baskets could probably go in the basement again. Other than that, things are pretty well taken care of, so that is good. I still have some clean clothes to unpack upstairs and get sorted so the kids can put them away. I'm washing blankets right now, which is a day earlier than I expected, so maybe things are going well. Lucy's outside playing. Emma is laying on the floor because she just got in from a run. And Jack is upstairs because he has a really sore throat, which is unfortunate, not fun to get sick, but at least we are home so he can rest and we don't have school this week. So he can just kind of focus on rest and catching up with sleep. I think that probably all of the travel is finally catching up with him. So that's where we're at right now. I'm actually going to make myself an iced coffee and uh, finish tidying up the kitchen tables. And then I'm going to sit down and work on some homeschool planning. This is what I use for my ice lattes or sometimes I also will do this Dolce one. Excuse my messy tea drawer. Um, but when I do this, I usually put another shot in because this is much sweeter to me. So this is just a double espresso shot and I just fill my cup with ice. Probably not supposed to do it like that. I don't know. Let it go. It'll be cold and then I just 
put some milk in it. I don't do any sweetener or anything like that. Sometimes in the winter I will do sweetener, but during the warm months, just milk. Okay, so it is about 2.15. I am done with my cleaning. Sorry, my hair is crazy right now. And I'm actually going to sit down and kind of work on some homeschool planning. I've talked about this in a few different videos that I'm looking at the guest hollow economics, personal finance, and government course for uh, my older two next year. Emma does not need government. She already did a half credit government course last year, so she doesn't technically need it, but I think that it would be good overall. She only needs an English credit, but she's still going to be doing school next year, so... I have to figure out what I'm going to do. A couple of years ago, I got a geography course that I really, really wanted to do with Emma, but our schedules were just so jam-packed, I could not fit it in. So we ended up dropping it, not because we didn't like the course. We did about maybe six weeks of it, and then I realized it was just way too much on top of everything else we were doing, so we dropped that. So I've considered doing that with both Emma and Jack, but I really like the looks of this government economics and personal finance course from Guest Hollow. It is literature based, it's very book heavy, and the struggle that I'm having is trying to figure out which books I actually need and which ones I'm not really going to need. I don't need this to count as an English credit for Emma or Jack, so I definitely want to drop some of the books but it is kind of hard to figure out which ones are really important and which ones are not. I will show you. So the books do have like links and it says either optional scheduled reference book or you, you need it. Like this is a free online American government textbook, which I hate online books. I mean, maybe if I can get it on the Kindle, that will be different, but to have to print something out that is not ideal. I guess I just kind of wish that this was organized a bit differently. There are descriptions of what the books are about, which is really good, but I cannot print this page and it's very difficult for me to just go through and read through everything. So ideally, I would be able to print this out and then just go through and reference it, see which books are at the library and I can kind of go back and forth on the computer as needed, but to have to read through everything on the computer drives me absolutely insane. It drives me insane for sunlight now. I know that printing costs are up for making magazines or like catalogs, curriculum catalogs, etc. So everything is just online, but it makes it so difficult for me because I'm so old school and you know, I guess I just have to get with the times. But I'm going to see if I can kind of like, I don't know, copy and paste this into like a Word document and then maybe I can finagle it so that I can print it out. Um, because if I just like right click or try and print the web page, it does not print correctly. Everything gets jumbled up. So that's what I'm going to work on now. I think I'm actually going to wrap up this vlog here, even though it's only 2.15. I know that the rest of the afternoon, I'm just going to be head down working on homeschool planning so that I can kind of get my head around things and get things ordered that I need so that I can start planning for next year because we do start our new school year in July. That is right around the corner. <laughs> and I actually feel like I'm kind of late this year, probably because this year I'm not ordering any real sunlight packages because all of the books that Lucy needs we already have. Emma only needs an English credit and Jack is not interested in doing classical literature or um, Bible history, uh, church history uh, for his sophomore year. So instead I have to figure out something else which is why I was looking at this government economics and personal finance course. So Thank you guys so much for watching. I know that this was a little bit of a crazy video. I am still all over the place. There is so much fun stuff coming in the next couple of weeks. I'm really, really excited for some new homeschool planners. The Erin Condren teacher planner and their homeschool planner are going to be released in May. Um, I think it might be May 7th. I think that's the date. Uh, so that is coming right up and I will definitely have reviews of all of that stuff soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.